welcome to lesson 3 in this lesson i'll discuss arduino ide here i'll show you how to download arduino ide for this you have to open this arduino.cc website here i'll go to software then downloads here the option is written as download the Arduino IDE. We have many options to download this Arduino IDE of version 1.8.9. One option is I can directly download Windows installer as I am using Windows. Or I can say uh, I can download a non-admin install. This will be a zip file. My preference is downloading the installer. I will click on that. Now they are asking for a contribution. If you can contribute, then you will click on contribute and download by selecting an amount of your choice. I am skipping this step, so I will click on just download. See, the download has been started and it will take one or two minutes. During this time, I can show you something else, like if I go to downloads, there are other options, like if you are using Mac OX, you can uh, download it from here. If you are using Linux, then these are the options, depends upon the processor you are using, you can download the compatible version. Apart from it, there is another option called Arduino Web Editor. If you, uh, if you are savvy with this, then I am telling you, without installing the Arduino software in your computer, you can directly write your programs through this Arduino web editor. This will, this is a on, this is an online editor where you can write your programs and download the object file. And then you can upload the object file to your board. Otherwise, the best way possible is download the Arduino IDE and the latest version is remember Arduino 1.8.9. Let me close it. Let me tell you the download has just finished. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the selected folder where it has downloaded. Now it is in downloads folder. What I'll do is I'll right click on it and I'll click on run as administrator. Yes, it may require admin rights to install a software of this kind. Now click on I agree, then next, then next. This is the best way possible to install a software or any software. Now let it install. Now, they can ask you for installing device drivers. For this, always choose install. This will help you in connecting new hardware boards. Now, let me close this window. And let me close this window also. As you have downloaded and installed Arduino IDE, let me answer you how Arduino IDE works. For this, look at this image. Here the IDE architecture is given. So there are two layers of operations. We, the programmers, sit on top of layer 1, that is Arduino software, where we write the program. The microcontroller sits at bottom, that is layer 2. It is the last one to be programmed. So one point should be clear. The Arduino IDE uses uh, AVR GCC tool as the main compiler. So whenever we write a program, the program should be a um, collection of library functions. Some we have defined and some are predefined libraries. 
all the functions have a root call to the tool chain. So tool chain has a number of programs and functions which are more hardware specific. So whenever we write a program and compile it, that is getting uh, that the program is compiled by the tool chain AVR GCC. As a result of the compilation, a hex file is generated. So we can call that hex file uh, as the machine code. The controller can understand the hex codes, not the C codes we are writing or we have written. The hex file uh, gets automatically uploaded to the controller if we press the upload button. So that I will show you. The IDE has the feature built in. So here I want to show you the tool chains, how the tool chains look like. The actual files which are installed when we install the Arduino IDE. Let me show you the folders. To show you the tool chains, uh, when you have installed Arduino ID, there will be an icon on your desktop. Right click on the icon and go to open file location. Click on that menu. And you will find this. Uh, this is installed in C program files x86 Arduino. So here the this is the Arduino exe file. So now you have to go to this hardware folder then go to tools then in the folder called AVR here in the bin folder you will find AVR C++ application file AVR G++ application file AVR GCC application file so these are the compilers which compile our program. Whenever we write a program, it's getting compiled by these applications. So the Arduino IDE, the main software handles these, uh, handle these applications. So whenever we press on compile, uh, the IDE calls AVR GCC and our program gets compiled. So there is one another application called AVRG++ that is responsible for C++ program. Now I will show you the features and functions of Arduino IDE. I have installed the Arduino IDE properly. Now let me open it. If I double click on the icon, this IDE will open. First, what you can see is there is an option called File, Edit, Sketch, Tools, Help. If I click on File, I can see one option called New. Through New, I can create new sketch. Remember, this sketch will have an extension of .ino. And as this Arduino IDE has been installed in your computer, if you have installed it, then your computer will associate .ino files with this software and through uh, if I go to tools this is another important option that is board our target board is Arduino Genuino Uno so we'll always select this Arduino Genuino Uno in case you are using some other board like Arduino Mega or Arduino Leonardo then you can select those boards as well Below this board option, there is another option called port. Till now, you have learned that Arduino board should be connected to uh, your computer through an USB cable. That USB cable, when you are connecting one USB cable from Arduino to your computer, one COM port number will be associated with that particular port. That COM port number will be shown here. If you select the port properly, then only you can the program, you can program the board properly. Apart from it, what I want to show you is, uh, this is the icon for verification or compilation. This is the icon for upload. Like, uh, 
by clicking on this icon you can program the board directly i want to show you the tool chains that is another important point let me right click on this icon and i'll click on open file location now this is where my arduino software is installed if you have installed arduino in your computer you will find this folder also then what you should do is click on hardware then go to tools you will see one folder called avr if you double click on avr this will be the structure this is my tool chain this is the tool chain when we have installed the arduino is being installed with the software now there is one important folder called bin if you double click on bin then you'll see there is one application called avrg++ and another application called avrgcc through avrgcc this arduino ide can compile c programs and through avrg++ arduino ide can compile c++ programs so these two application files are responsible for compiling your program and generating hex or binary files for your board now this is it in next video what i'll show you is how to create a new arduino sketch and we'll write our first program and upload that program to a board in the next lesson i'll tell you the pin mapping and pin functionalities of at mega 328p